and some practice problems. We'll work through these one at a time. First, negative 3 squared. There are no parentheses, so we follow the order of operations. The exponent gets done first. 3 squared, and we have the negative of that. So 3 squared is 9, and negative of that would be negative 9. In the second one, we have negative 3 squared, and that means negative 3 times negative 3, which is a positive 9, because there are two of these things multiplied together. That means we have two negative signs, and two negative numbers multiplied together give us, gives us a positive answer. In this case, negative 3 cubed. Well, we do the exponent first. That's 3 cubed. That's 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And we have the negative of that. So the answer is negative 27. In this case, we have negative 3 cubed. So the negative 3 is what's multiplied by itself repeatedly. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So we have 3, an odd number of negative numbers multiplied together. So the answer is negative. It's negative 27. And even though we have the same answer in these two cases, the meaning is different. In this case, we have the negative of 3 times 3 times 3, which comes out to be negative 27. In this case, we have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. These two expressions mean different things. They do happen to have the same answer, but it's important to understand the different meaning in those two expressions. And in this last example, 6 times negative 8 plus 5. Well, we do what's in parentheses first. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So we have 6 times negative 3. And that's a positive number multiplied by a negative number. So we get a negative answer, and it's negative 18.